This is uh, a relationship that we've had for more than 10 years that's been building uh, mainly in the area of medical research and medical education. Um, there are a number of investigators who've had good relationships, uh, collaborations with people in Galway, especially in the Regenerative Medicine Institute and in the Network of Excellence for Functional Biomaterials. And the goal of the collaborations are really uh, to promote joint projects, both in education and in research, and especially in the area of first-in-human clinical trials. So the uh, facilities that they have at the National University of Ireland very closely match ours in terms of cell manufacturing and other expertise like that. So that as we bring forward more regenerative medicine trials and stem cell trials, we will be able to do these collaboratively. Uh, this gives us opportunities for joint funding uh, applications. Uh, the European Union has been very interested, as is NIH, in promoting transatlantic collaborations that will really maximize the, uh, the brain power of the medical researchers on both sides of the Atlantic. So this is an opportunity for us to work with both the clinicians and scientists in Galway. We have a particularly good relationship because many of the more senior researchers and faculty there actually spent part of their time uh, training or in active collaborations at Mayo Clinic. So these are very good personal relationships as well. There's a very strong atmosphere of trust and cooperation between the two institutions. The areas that will be covered are um, those that are being actively developed at Mayo. So uh, vascular disease, um, particularly uh, vascular disease associated with diabetes. Uh, Professor O'Brien, uh, who heads the Regenerative Medicine Institute in, in Ireland, is, uh, has expertise in uh, treatment of vascular disease, and they're particularly interested in developing trials for, uh, for example, for preventing amputations in people with diabetes. The other trials that will probably be initiated early on are those in the neurological diseases. So there's, there's interest between Mayo Clinic, investigators in Ireland, and others at several European sites in uh, developing a collaborative trial for the use of uh, mesenchymal stem cells for the treatment of Lou Gehrig's disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. So I think the early diseases will be ones that we're very actively working on at the moment, and then it will be expanded as the collaboration expands. The other area of collaboration is in medical education and training. So we hope that we'll be able to continue and grow the exchange of trainees at the resident level between the institutions. That's been gradually building and has been going very, very well. Uh, we're, we're, we're very fortunate, we get a lot of benefits from this because Irish medical graduates are extremely well trained. The other opportunities are in the area of spin-offs and commercialization. Uh, Mayo recently also signed an agreement with Enterprise Ireland to invest money in bringing Mayo Clinic inventions into commercialization uh, using uh, the resources that Enterprise Ireland has, hopefully to bring more jobs to Ireland, but also to allow commercialization of these products in Europe. And there are several in the pipeline at the moment.